Alright, and welcome back to DMM Mixy Play Psychonauts. And you may be wondering, what the hell is she doing on the loading screen? On the main title screen? Um. Hey, duh. Uh, I think it was September 30th was when Double Fine decided to go. Oh, hey! We're gonna update everything, so. As a matter of irony, most of the game now has been updated in the sense of achievements, and also through the Steam Network they have also uh, made a release out for Max. So, as an achievement whore that I am, 95 of the of achievements I actually can't get, so whatever. I was also reading that something had been changed about the Meat Circus, but... Which is the next air brain we're gonna go to, which is the final brain of the game, but we don't know what's exactly going on with that. And I have to actually load. Anyway, with me again, like almost always, is MJ Tamixter. Yup. <laughs> She's kinda like, what are you talking about? Watch the effing meat circus is gonna be easy. Yeah, and this is my other file that is basically an endgame run. So, right now we're gonna load this, see what loading looks like, I guess we're gonna load here. Which is the latest. Duh. So, in this episode, we're... What the crap? Okay, it just popped up saying I have a bunch of achievements. <laughs> Thank you, game. <laughs> um... I never pointed it out this last time. I don't know if anybody else noticed it, but there's faces in the sky at night. Like, distorted, all crazy looking faces, and I find it kind of cool. Anyway, um, this episode. Uh, we're gonna call out the bacon. Bacon! Bacon power! You make me hungry. I want bacon. So we're gonna go talk to all the campers instead of actually going upstairs, and we're gonna see if. We can actually get another achievement. Prepare for extraction. That's it. I have no idea how to get the Pokemon one. Uh, we're actually as we're gonna go to talk to all the campers anyway because as we saved everybody in the last episode, everyone else is gonna be out and about going, "Oh hey, we're gonna have some fun and be like, this is the end of the world." Because for some reason, everybody was all emo. And I gotta get used to playing this game again. This is actually like a really long time since I've played. Like, to give you a spectrum, it's been about maybe two months. Because school came first. <laughs> so. Yeah. Wait, why is my subcon. Oh, right. Okay, never mind. That is. I was wondering why my. Um, my brain limit is low, but it's not low. It's actually about right. <gasps> Dogen! You are talking to the squirrels! Hi, Dogen! So I'm really sorry for not believing you. I don't know why you're talking to the squirrels. Yeah, that too. I should really not have blown so many of you up. I just get so confused sometimes. That's all I have to say. What? You get confused. What? Okay, I'm gonna talk to you again. You wanna help me save the world? Well, this could take a while. They're really mad. Can I make them matter? Okay, wait. Now, because I can, we're gonna do some clairvoyance checks. What the hell? You see me as a helmet? Helmet. Okay, whatever. Um, uh, is there anybody else here? There was someone talking about guarding the girls' cabins. Well, there's Chops and. Anybody in here? Huh. That's where Katie. Um, fuck. I don't remember their names. Kitty and. Oh man. Frankie? Been... Yeah, Frankie and Kitty. There we go. Want to help me save the world? Hmm. Nope. What are you guys doing? You guys are. Hey, want to help me save the world? Hmm. Nope. Quit it. Oh Stop shit. It you see me as a fly, and what does Frankie see me as? A uh, fly also. You guys are totally unoriginal. I did not mean to shoot you with- actually, I meant to shoot you with a side blast. I don't even care anymore. 
Is there anybody in here? I know where the two, uh, Clemen, uh, Crystal are. But is there anybody in the boys' cabin? Boys' cabin. Oh, oh right! I gotta... Okay, we're gonna have to do some exploring. Hi, guys! What's up? Hey, you wanna help me save the world? It's time to circle the wagons, partner. What? That's the best plan right now. Circle I'm the wagons? I'm patrolling the homestead with my partner Chops riding shotgun. All right. Is this the American Indian War? Well, it's Chops. Oh. I mean, Chops and what's his face? Oh, Quentin. He sees me as a awesome cowboy, and what does Chops see me as? Uh, probably a jerk. A hockey player. Why do you see Raz as a hockey player? I have no idea. But we need to find. Okay, my new mission is to find Bobby and uh, Chloe. I don't know where they are, but. Because, you know, I'm gonna try the best of my ability to show off um, achievements. Most of the achievements are actually like um, stuff you get through just playing the game. There's a few other ones that seem a little bit more interesting, which I'm more interested in personally, and I'll try to show them off as best as I can. Um, like, the reason why I'm going around uh, uh, with clairvoyance is because uh, there is an achievement for looking at yourself through other people's eyes. Cough, cough, clairvoyance. And it kind of sucks I got it so late, but... There is, there was a guide online that shows every, how everybody sees you. And I mean everybody. Even like technically before you have clairvoyance, but. Cheating is fun. Oh, you know what I should do? I should go up to the top of the, um, the, sc the school. Yes, this is now school. We are no longer in camp. God, I have school in the morning. Ugh. I mean, like, the main reason why I haven't really had time to play is because, um... School. Oh, well, yeah, school. I mean, just to give you an idea of what my class load is, it's like, we're animating, like, 2D, and it there's Bobby and Chloe. Hey, you wanna help me save the world? That's what we're doing, duh! Chloe has some friends who she's calling, who are gonna kick the coach's ass! Oh. Hey, you wanna help me save the world? Well, to tell you the truth, Earthling, this world is a goner. Right now, I'm just trying to hitch a ride to the next one over. Wait, what do you see me as? You see me as an alien? What? What does Bobby see me as? Oh, he's only got eyes for Chloe. Wait. Come on. Uh... Okay, this is kind of hard to do it in third person, but he sees me. I think it's a punching dummy. With a giant target on it. Yeah. Is there a way? Can I get right here? And somehow target Bobby? Bobby. Come on. Okay, fine. It's not gonna let me, but he sees- I think he see just sees me as a punching bag. Anyway! <coughs> what I was talking about was we have, uh, I'm taking a 2D animation class, which is a lot of work in and of itself. Um, Flash Animation and Maya. That alone is like, you're just asking for death. Well, not death, but three art classes is like, holy shit. Especially with our major. It's just like, so much work. Anyway, back to the actual game. We're exploring... I'm being entertaining, not really. <coughs> I gotta- Oh wait, I should've taken clairvoyance. Ah, oh, fuck. You got time. I'm fine, and for some reason my phone's lighting up. Because it wants attention? Question mark? Well, we have time. Um, where are the cougars? Cougars. Ah, uh, cougars. Hi, cougar. You can't see me, but I can see you. Hi. I don't know why we're lagging already. Probably just because it's my time and everything's- Oh my god! That's like a really weird lighting scheme. Anyone down here at the parking lot? There's usually not anyone down here at the parking lot. 
Oh, Maloof. What the fuck are Maloof and Mikhail doing? Thinking of new ways to Hello, torture Rasputin. bullies? No. What are you guys doing? Taking care of Sorry business. Face. The fewer questions you ask, the better. Are you trying to cut the coach's brakes or something? <laughs> and he just sees me as me. Kind of boring, Mikhail. You see me as the godfather. That is kind of awesome. <laughs> is there anybody else down here? Uh, I mean, I'll probably- I'm probably actually going to try to do a speedrun after this game playthrough. Just to personally see how fast I can kind of plow through this game and, um... Plow through getting most of the achievements. And also, we're already- we're- I feel terrible about that. <laughs> I ran over a squirrel. That's fun, dude. I don't know, why is it making that weird shape? Oh, whatever. Um... It might be because I have my, um, shading textures low. But it's making a weird kind of triangle shape when I run around at night from my ball. Oh, I know there's two people out there, but we'll go to them in a minute. Basically, campers are funny. And we're trying to get achievements. Achievements. How do you see me? You see me as a hungry mouth. But I already knew that. Okay, anyway. Hey, why are you stopping? Hi. Oh, I thought you stopped. No, hey, no, no, no. Help me save the world? Let's go. Not now, Raz. I'm trying to finish writing my memoirs before we all die. You're trying to fin- We're not gonna die! Why does everybody think we're gonna die? I mean, sorry, 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 our group's I'm called I'm gonna- I'm not gonna die games, well, but we're not, we're not gonna die. No, we're gonna die. The campers are gonna die. We oh, and Vernon sees me as a ear, a giant ear, but that's because he talks a lot. Okay, you two. Hey, you wanna help me save the world? Nah, I feel pretty good letting you take care of that. I'm <laughs> sure you got that under control. I gotta practice for the big celebration afterwards. And Quentin just sees me, uh, uh, with the scarf. Apparently, I don't know why he sees me with the scarf. Oh, cause he's wearing a scarf. Wait, is that Quentin or is that Phoebe? No, I mean, can I get like, uh, please? What? She sees me as a, a fire. Like a pile of wood. A campfire. Like, that's not lit. That's weird. And no one's in the TV lounge. Ah, uh, I can finally watch my favorite TV shows. Well, who said I wanted to make the reception better? Maybe I just wanted to punch the TV, Raz. God! Raz. And look who it is. They're finally and holding hands. I'm not even gonna talk to them yet. Wait, can I do this from the front, please? And not like die from helmets of my death? Uh, wait. Where am I? You. Another person who sees me as a fly. Great. Oh. Oh god! I didn't even realize I was getting set on fire. <laughs> I'm like, I hear the cougar. Why do I hear the cougar? Because he's busy setting you on fire. Yeah, because I fell off the what? Oh, thanks, health. Thank you. You. No, that's not what I want to do. Well, it is kind of what I want to do, but. I want to see what Nils sees me as. Damn it. 